friends, we're starting day two here at Camp Sakin. Sadly, there's this sign right here because Lex has her eyes on the pond. But it's a beautiful morning and we are just headed to the other option here, the bathhouse. I just thought I'd share a little bit of my just really sweet morning routine that I have. That's a great way to start my day and it starts here with no brand advertising here. This is just what I like, but I make a chai latte in the mornings and thankfully this campsite has electric. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's not pretty. Okay, this is how we roll. This is my electric connector for my campsite and chai latte frother. Okay, part two. <laughs> there we go. How lovely is that? And while it's not ideal to heat my tea like this, it's the best option today. So there we have it. One amazing, very hot, lovely chai latte in the middle of my campground. One of the best parts of my morning, it really sets me up to be intentional and thoughtful, is being sure that I make time for my devotions and just quiet time to sit by the fire, reflect on my day yesterday, and look ahead to tomorrow. So Lexi and I are just about ready to get back on the road, but before we do, I wanna make sure that I'm really got my head straight so that I can relax and enjoy the day. Okay, here's probably something you wouldn't have expected on day two of my um, trip, but Lexi and I are sitting in one of the satellite campuses of Purdue we are sitting in the parking lot watching the Olympic women's gold medal game between the US and Brazil. This is incredibly important to me, so we, we had to figure out a place that we could stop and sit for a couple hours and not bother anybody. Thankfully, it's 70 degrees and sunny and beautiful outside and the windows are down and Lexi and I went for a walk and it's the last few minutes of the game. So here's my little setup, and it's down to the last 15 minutes, and I can hardly stand it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're down to like the final minute. My heart is beating so fast. Okay, everyone's crying on both sides already, and they haven't even blown the whistle yet. Please blow your whistle. Oh, yes, we won! Quintessential Midwest scenes here. This is the kind of stuff that just makes my heart happy. Welcome to Leon, Wisconsin. Population probably 150 maybe. This is where America lives, people. You know you're in the Midwest when this road is called a highway. It's officially Highway J. And I love it. It actually feels a lot like Pennsylvania here, at least my part of Pennsylvania. Lots of rolling hills. Kind of reminds me of Gettysburg. And we are approaching our destination. Also, you know you're in the Midwest when a road like this is called an avenue. Arrived. Arrived. One of my favorite words in the English language. All right, here we are. Officially at Justin Trails. That's what it's called. Okay, our campsite is just up ahead here. So this is a farm. It reminds me a lot of my own family farm. Only it's, I think there's a couple hundred acres here. So it's a little bit bigger than ours. And these people have decided to make a go of the farm now by putting disc golf courses on the farm. Built several really beautiful cabins. They have alpacas. There's a lot going on here. So this is our little spot. It's been a long day, but I'm so happy that we're here now. 
and really just enjoying our first real hike on our trip. And it's just around the farm here, but the farm is large and there are lots of trails and it's really fun to get out here and let Lex just roam free and get lots of exercise. So just a good day. Oh, so we are getting closer to sunset and um, just checking things out. Lexi's had a sick belly, which has not been fun for her, but she seems fine because, you know, dogs have a sick stomach and then they go run two miles. We're going to go check out the animals here on the farm and um, see what's going on. So let's go. We're just checking things out. Let's look over this way. Look at these guys. Hi, guys. What do you think, Lex? Don't bark at them. Don't bark at them. And just say hello. That's fine. It's a beautiful evening near Sparta, Wisconsin. And we have had a lovely time since we got here. This is one of my favorite little campsites that I've ever stayed in. She's got half a dozen of these around the property. So one is just out here on the edge of this woods near this little gully field. And there's the disc golf course up there. But it just feels snug and it's gonna be cold tonight. It's gonna be down in the 40s. I haven't felt 40s for a while. So Lex and I will be all snuggled up in our, in our tent. What a beautiful sky, beautiful day. End of day two, enjoying our fire, enjoying the last bit of light up on the hill. It's been a good day. Nothing really dramatic happened today. Nothing big, nothing even surprising. It was just lovely once we got out of the car. Until tomorrow.